Okay, I like Victoria E stuff, I have to say. So I thought I'd play with this. This is St. Nicholas set and stuff. And uh, first thing, when you see all these pieces in here in the dies, I, I'm not a good, I don't like to build something where I have to use a hundred things to make something. I like three things maybe, or more, up and I want it to pop. So anyways, um, so I didn't use a lot of these little pieces. I didn't build any fireplaces or chimneys or anything. I just used the basic on it because like I said, I want something that's quick and easy and stuff. So I'm just kind of gonna show you what I did. Of course I used the paper that goes with it and the dies fit these Santas right here. So there's 10 Santas you can get and then you get three freebies that you can cut out by hand if you want, which I did do that and I don't like to fussy cut. But, uh, and then you have all these trees you can fussy cut. And I did that too, <laughs> and I don't fuss again. Anyways, um, so it's really a fun, uh, a fun set of papers. The first thing is, these are ones that I cut out of the paper with the dies. Now, you know, if you like to paint using the aqua painter and 10 different colors of markers or whatever you like to do, um, you can do that, but why? Why, when mine will not look this good if I uh, color it? I can't get the face to look like that and the white to be that white. Anyway, so if you're real, you know, like your things just perfect, I just cut it out of there. But I'm gonna show you some just quick and easy ones. I'll show you a couple cards I did just with the cutout is this one right here. And I added some still. I love Stella, just right here. I added some Stella to that. And I'll have to show you, my daughter, I, I have to say, I do not like six by six paper, I'm sorry. Anybody that does crafting has a cutter and can make their own six by six paper because it limits me to what I can do and it wastes paper. If I wanna do like four inch strips, I got a four and a two, you know what I mean? That's just my thing, okay. But my daughter came up with something that's really good to use your six by six paper. However, this was 12 by 12, but I cut it six by six anyways. Pretend like it was six by six. <laughs> okay, so what, what she does is just takes, I'll show you this. So you take your six by six and you cut a half an inch off the top, and then you just score it at one, one and three quarters. And then you've got your little it fits in your card and you can do like this if you want to. Or this one doesn't have the fold on it, it's just connected to the top thing like this. But the trick is both sides of your six by six has to be cute. <laughs> and sometimes, and most of the time, a lot of times that works. But you know, some of those that have like the scenes on them, you could do for the front part of the scene, and as well, if the inside's good, then you can do the inside. But see, so, because you see the whole thing, so there's not any getting around an ugly side. Those, if they have an ugly side, you glue it down on this side. Okay, so I played doing, um, uh, this one I used the blender pens. And on my stamp pad, I just touched the corner of it and would color it. And then I use some of this uh, pearlized enamel stuff for the beard and the fuzzy parts of his outfit. And you just have to let that dry. But if you want to add some dimension to it, you can do that with these, any of these. It works, every Santa has a beard, so it's really easy to add that to it. Um, but then I got playing with Stella. I love Stella. And so I just kind of started um, coloring them with Stella. So that one's colored with Stella. And in fact, they're all colored with Stella, but I'll show you how, what I did. Um, so uh, Jill said we had to actually stamp in front of you. Well, I stamped them at home because I didn't want to bring the big show, I mean the uh, embossing machine 
Anyways, so I stamped them and cut them out. Now, what's the one thing we always end up doing? We stamp it on a piece of paper and we color it and then we go cut it out and we screw it up. Don't ever do that. Cut it out first. And then if you screw it up, you can stamp it again and cut it out again. But you don't want to after you've already done all your work of coloring it. So, and I want to show you that it, this is um, watercolor paper and this is just our basic white paper and it works the same. So if you want to save your watercolor paper for when you're using aqua painter or something where you, it takes more water, then you can do that and just use your white for that one. So all I did was, let me find my, I'll just do the regular one, not use my, uh, uh, or my, uh, you know what, not use the watercolor paper. Okay, so you just do the corner because it's gonna put a little bit of glitter on your pad. And so I just like do the little corner right here, see? And then I can take a baby wipe or a paper towel and just wipe that off right afterwards and it's gone. So you're just gonna go paint it in here. See, just gonna use it. The reason I like to do use this or the blends, if it's small areas, uh, the aqua painter, I have a little harder time with if it's small, if it's little areas, because the brushes like, <laughs> seem to be bigger, you know? Anyways, so you just kind of go like this, and you can add more color if you want, make it darker or lighter. I think it turns out pretty good, because, you know, when you do a watercolory look, you don't really want everything the same. You want to just kind of have it kind of faded and lighter in some places and darker in other places. But with this, you can just keep adding to it if you want. You want it darker, you can just keep adding to it. And then if you're using different colors, you just clean it off like that till it's not that color anymore. And then you can use another color. But it's just really easy. It's very relaxing, ladies. So after I colored his little outfit, I am, I'm using copper clay. It's kind of, yeah, it kind of looks coppery. Uh, I have some idea that the paper is, has real red and it also has um, cobbler, cherry cobbler. But I'll show you a card that I did with it and it doesn't really paint cherry cobbler. Paints lighter than cherry, cherry cobbler. Okay, so I kind of got them. I, I probably missed something, but I'll catch, catch it later. And then I'm just gonna, oh yeah, I wanna do the packages. So I'm just gonna do the ribbon on the packages and the bows. Yeah. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean this off. And also you can take a um, baby wipe and clean it, and it will clean it faster than this. Okay, eventually it cuts clean. There we are, we're clear. Okay, and then I went back and I just, I, I just did the, the fuzzy parts. And I probably should have done that first. You guys are smart and then do the color, but it works, okay? And you can do a spirit if you want. So if you just stamp it and it's fresh, you can use this and it kind of just smears it. Do you know what I mean? But it doesn't really give you enough color, I don't think. So I always went back to my pad and added a little bit with my pad. Okay, I mean, that is, I mean, can it get any easier than that? Not really, okay. So I'm gonna take my trimmed off six by six and you can either do it, you can either just do a piece like this and stick it on there and, or you can do the little one that opens like this. So you open it like this. We'll do this one. Okay, okay, so you glue this on. So kind of center this in your full, or actually you can put it anywhere you want. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. I'm gonna mount this. So you can add your little thing right here or you can mount it if you want. If you wanted to bring the green, you could. So first you really wanna put this on. So if you wanna mount it just like that or if you wanna mount it on the green because you have green back there, you know, all the, you know, all your options. I think I'm just gonna mount it right on it. Right side up would be the good way to do it. This paper has some really fun colors. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of scoot his head up here a little bit. 
those deep hangover. And I think I'm going to add a tree that I cut off of the paper. And then you could do, um, oh, is that a lamp post? is what that's supposed to be? Or a mailbox? <laughs> it's for Santa's letters. Okay. Or you can just add some more trees, which I kind of like. I think I'm going to add some trees. You get so many trees on this thing, you might as well use them. And if you're um, do you using a dark paper like this, you're going to want to put a piece of white in there. And then you can add some of these little gizmos if you want anywhere out there. So you've got a like a, like that. Okay, I'll show you a couple other ones. Can I show you that way? See, this is the cherry. This is the cherry, and this is the cherry. And I look pretty dark on there, and it still, you know, doesn't totally look cherry, but it works. It works okay. So, okay. That was one that was cut out of the paper, or that one. Now, this one is just your card folded like that. And then your card stock or your DSP on there. This one was cut out of the thing. And then I took and glittered up his beard. So you can take the ones right out of them there and do that. This one, I used like two colors. How about that? Three colors. I used three. I was really stepping out of my thing. That's another way to do the six by six the other direction. And here, I love this, I love the colors on this one. Okay, and I was going to show you, see how here I took the um, Stella and I just went like this over the letters and to make sure the words stand out. See, compared to not. And then there's, well, it's just all green. It looks kind of fun. Anyways, I'm into easy. Okay, I'll have to show you this. This was a, a swap that someone did at leadership and see how it stands up like that. Thank you. This is embossed. I did do one, I embossed it. I wouldn't bother embossing it because you don't really need to. Yes, this one I embossed and I embossed that on it, but you don't really need to emboss it. And this one looks like she colored it in with markers, which I don't use markers because I don't want to buy 10 when I need one one color. So I use other things like, uh, okay, stamped in blend. Anyways, have fun if you like Victorian-y. This is a fun one to do. 